The second critical step to healing from an affair is to have a come clean conversation where your partner or the straying partner tells you everything about what happened, all of the details about the affair. And one important thing that I like to stress about the come clean conversation is that I recommend you not talk about any intimate, you know, personal, romantic, sexual details. Um, because that can really haunt you later. So let's talk more about this and, and what I mean here. So a come clean conversation is basically a getting everything out on the table conversation. And this is probably going to be several conversations. When you first discover the affair and everything comes to light and you guys are talking, you'll probably have one or two, maybe a few, big giant marathon conversations where you talk at length about the affair and what happened. Then as time goes on, you will probably have many smaller conversations about what happened. And there are some things that I think make a big difference in, in those conversations. One is that I really want you guys to not push yourselves to have a longer conversation than is productive. I know that you're wanting to get through this as fast as possible. But if you push yourself to a place where you're both so profoundly upset that you're doing things to soothe yourselves and shut down and detach, you're not going to be doing anything good to heal the trauma that has happened. So instead, I prefer you to make appointments to have these conversations with each other so that they're scheduled and you know when they're going to happen and you're not talking about the affair all the time. If you are the hurt partner and you're struggling in between conversations, you can always ask for reassurance. Um, but what I would prefer you do is that you journal and write down a lot of your thoughts and questions so you can get out of your head and onto the page. And that way you don't feel as much um, kind of nagging anxiety to talk about the affair all the time. That will help your partner to really calm down so they can reassure you when you do have these conversations. I also really want you to follow all the good conversation um, guidelines. Uh, and I talk about all of this in chapter two of my book, The Courage to Stay. There's an exercise that I recommend um, that's a, a timeline document that I want you guys to put together with all the proof to kind of back up what the official story uh, is of the affair. So that's how to have the come clean conversation. And then when it comes to the intimate details, the reason I recommend you not talk about anything that happens behind closed doors or in the bedroom or something that is a um, physical encounter is because that will make your trauma worse and really haunt you.